and welcome back to Let's Play Chibi Robo. Alright, let's go explore the foyer in the kitchen, shall we? Well, actually, what time is it? How much more time do we have during tonight? Uh... Okay, we might only have enough time to explore one of them. I want to go to the foyer then. We can explore the kitchen during the daytime, but... I want to head over here before we do anything else. Also, yeah, once tonight's over, I'm going to switch over to the 10-minute uh, day and night cycle. I feel like 10 minutes is a better time to actually have time to go look around. 5 minutes is just way too short. But we can get introduced to a new toy line. They're eggs. They seem... Friendly. But yep, these guards are basically the equip this world's equivalent of army men. Also, there are a lot of them. They're also surprisingly durable. Most toys, when you throw them off a ledge, they will break. Especially when they're eggs. What? They seem harmless as they all point their totally real wooden guns at me. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Also, it sounds like they're keeping a whale somewhere in the house. Alright, so we, if we want to explore this area, we're going to need to find a way through these rangers. You know what? I can take them. Ow! So yeah, battery power is also our health, by the way. As we take damage, we will lose battery power. We can make it. It's only a little bit further. Nope. This is fine. So yeah, right now, we just cannot cross the foyer. Uh... We're just going to get gunned down if we try. So a lot of the, like, I guess level progression this game is about trying to find, is like trying to find ways around obstacles. Also, yeah, Chibi Robo didn't really, couldn't really handle all the rubber bullets. Kinda died. He's fine though. This resulted in, like, a bad battery. Also, we got a new suit out of that, by the way. And yeah, we have to watch our battery at all times. If we ever run out, we'll just automatically get teleported back to the Chibi house. Yep, there it is. We got ourselves a trauma suit. Which is honestly probably one of the best suits in the entire game. Which is why I wanted to get it super early on. Also, yeah, if we die from damage or running out of battery, we uh we lose a little bit of money. It's not that much money, fortunately. Also, yeah, since we did run out of batteries, we can now purchase chibi batteries. They're not battery upgrades, though. You can only get battery upgrades through happiness points. They're basically just quick recharges if you really need it. I don't really use them that much because they're pretty expensive. Except for, like, certain parts of the game where you're going to need a lot of battery power. We're not going to be buying one, by the way. And yeah, we haven't earned any happiness points since last time. Nah, we're good. We'll save some other time. 
Also, you cried all over the floor. Actually, I don't think we can clean that up with the toothbrush, can we? Oh, no, we can. Never mind. All right. Before we go, though, is there anything I can buy at the moment? The next thing I want to save up for is the... Where is it? The Chibi Blaster? Okay, it's going to take a bit more move off for that. Got it. Also, yeah, these things. We won't be buying these for a while. I'm going to buy Time Room 10 once it switches over to morning. Anyways, we have a little bit of time left. Let's go to the kitchen real quick. Also, I'll show off what the uh, trauma suit can do in a second. So I'm just going to pop in here, just so that we have it unlocked for uh, once morning rolls over. Because, yeah, even if you d if you don't move Sophie at night, you can't go into the kitchen during the day either. So there's a bunch of things I want in here. Also, there's a chippy door right here. We'll explore this area in the morning, though. We don't really have a ton of time right now. And once the day switches over, we're going to head back home anyways. So let me show you the power of the trauma suit. It's actually pretty good. So, what's the pose? It's this. Behold my power of falling over and going completely limp. So yeah, the power of the trauma suit is basically, it lets you warp back home at any point without losing any time. Also, because we got sent home with the trauma suit, we got a new suit. We're a ghost now. Kelly, why'd you put this on me? Also, when did I get happiness? Oh, right, I was cleaning up the puddle that uh, Kelly made when he was crying. All right. But yeah, the trauma suit's super helpful because it basically instantly warps you back to the uh, chibi house. Which is helpful throughout the entire game. Also, you don't lose any Moomla when you do it that way. Anyways, we did also get ourselves the... Uh, what is this one called again? The ghost suit. Oh, whoops. That's right, I can't pose inside the house. One second. Also, yeah, when we're using the ghost suit, we can't use our arms. Well, we can, but the game doesn't show it. Or if it does, it kind of makes it look really weird. We're not going to be wearing the ghost suit too much. Let me just show off what the ghost suit does. It basically makes us spooky. Still uses 30 battery, though, so we're going to want to be careful with that. Oh, let me see if I can get a little bit more happiness points before morning. Also, I'm going to take this off real quick. Ah, no. We're about to hit morning. Yep, there we go. Alright, we're going to head back. So yeah, once daytime or nighttime ends, you just automatically get warped back home. I don't think I got enough happy points for cleaning up your puddle. Oh, wait, did I? Oh, no, I did. Nice. For making it into the top 100,000 of uh, Chibi Robos, we get a bonus battery. So, yeah, now we have 100 ba battery to work with. So, 20 extra battery is actually pretty good. Also, yeah, Tommy has a lot of confetti he likes to throw around, which is fine with me. Confetti is a pretty good way to get some free happiness points because it's garbage. All right, so now that's daytime. So now that it's daytime, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, shopping. Like I said before, we're switching over to 10 minutes. 5 minutes isn't enough. Especially if we want to explore more than one room. Ah, uh, I don't have enough for the blaster yet. And the recycle trying is something that will come up later. We can't do anything with it right now, which is why I'm not bothering.
but now daytime and nighttime will last 10 minutes. I can adjust that throughout the entire game. Like, if we need things to go by faster, I can just switch it back to 5. Or if I need a lot of time for, like, a side quest or something, I'll switch over to 15. It's only 10 moolah. So yeah, now that it's daytime, a lot of the toys will be asleep, for the most part. But the humans are gonna be awake. In fact, Jenny's right over there. You can see her little hat. Well, not little. It's not really that little. Let's go see Jenny real quick. And then I'm gonna grab a couple things in the living room, and then we'll head to the kitchen. Because we didn't really explore it last night. Hi, Jenny. She's drawing... Frogs. Yeah, Jenny is uh, has a real frog motif going on. Oh, might as well get on. It's kind of creepy from this angle, to be honest. She's eight. It is good to make little kids happy, though. Alright. So anyways, I'm gonna grab some uh, frog rings. These are a collectible that we'll be using for a side quest later on. I don't know if we can start it right now. Give me that. Also, yeah, there's free moolah around the place, too. We're fine. That wasn't high enough to actually damage us. So let me see something. Hey, Jenny. Yep, here we go. So yeah, the frog rings are basically for Jenny's uh, side quest. We're gonna be collecting these for her. We'll learn why later. But we're gonna want to basically drop them off every time we see her, just for the free happiness points. And there are a total of 10 throughout the house. Actually, I think there's more than 10 throughout the house. Whoops. But we need to give her 10 for her quest. Also, hi, Dad. I'm gonna talk to your big toe. Alright, so yeah, speaking of his wife, let's go to the kitchen, because that's usually where she uh, is stationed at this point in the game. Throughout the game, they'll basically move around the house to different areas. Right now, we're kind of limited only to the kitchen and the living room, so those are the only two rooms they'll stay in. Also, hi, Cal. Also, hi, Sophie. You, uh... You okay there, buddy? <sighs> Alright, we'll explore the kitchen some more in a second. First things first. Let's take a look at this chibi door. Alright, what do we got in here? The usual. Money and horror. Don't know why we keep going in those other than the free cash. Nope, we're not gonna save right now. Alright. So yeah, remember that last like cutscene before we started going to getting shot in the foyer? How about like that one soldier using a cup to block up bullets? Well, there's a free mug up there. There's also a spoon that we can't get right now. I'm gonna want that spoon though. The spoon is actually super helpful, and I want that as soon as possible. But yeah, let's see if we can grab that mug. That is gonna involve climbing up to the counter though. Poor Tao. He's a good dog. There it is. Let's grab that, shall we? Yeah, we, we noticed that. 
At least he's not angry at us about him spending who knows how much. But yeah, I'm gonna be taking this. Don't mind me. So yeah, with that we can basically block attacks from enemies. Also, while we're here, let's help out a little bit. Yeah, that I've also noticed. There's garbage everywhere. And we're getting happiness points for doing this, so that's always a good thing. Alright, is there anything else I want to grab? Oh, there's garbage over there. There's a frog ring on the table we can't get to yet. And yeah, we can't actually get to the spoon yet. We can later, once we have some uh, different tools at our disposal. But right now, with what we have, we can't really do a whole lot yet. Let's take a look around some more of the uh, kitchen, though. Oh god, I'm fine. We do want to be careful not to fall off the counter. Falling from here will hurt quite a bit. We're also going to want to be careful because I don't... Are there any plugs around here? There's a plug over there. Not plug in this area though. Also, I can't climb that yet. Okay. But yeah, we're going to watch. want to watch our battery. Also, one little touch I like is that Chibi Robo's footsteps do make different sounds depending on what surface you're on. But yeah, I don't think we can get a. Wait, can we go up here to get across? Yeah, we can. But yeah, unfortunately, we can't get up there yet. We'll have to wait until later. Actually, wait, can we get up there yet? I could have sworn we need a different item to get there. Yeah, we can't get up there. Never mind. I thought we could climb up on these cans. Nope. But yeah, that's basically the. Oh god. Ooh, there are dog tags in there. I'm gonna grab those. Ow! Probably should have used the chopper for that. Oh, actually, yeah, I think I need to use the chopper to float down. One second. I'm gonna head back up real quick. Also, sticks. We'll find a trash can later. Actually, before we head up, let me go recharge my battery real quick. I'm under half right now. And yeah, like I said, it's usually a good idea to pick up your battery or your uh, plug if you're not like trying to climb stuff. It makes you move a little bit faster. I don't know if it makes you drain more energy if you do, though. I don't think it does. Pretty sure your energy drains the same even if you're holding on to it. Actually, let me see that. Yeah, it's about the same. Uh, we can't go up this way yet because there's a sticker in the way. Yeah, that sticker's basically making it so we can't pull open those shelves, or those, uh, drawers. Actually, is there anything up there? No, I think there's just probably money and happiness points. Also, there's trash in the corner there, but I don't feel like going out of my way to get it right now. I'm a good maid. I just ignore garbage and stains all over the place. But yeah, let me see if I can grab those dog tags right now. We might have to come back later once we have uh, different upgrades. Also, wait a second. Fish. So yeah, if we have, like, food crumbs here, we can feed them to the fish, even though I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do this, like, in real life. Good fish. The fish are very happy for us. They also paid us somehow. But yeah, the Sandersons uh, are kind of fighting right now because of the whole money thing. 
It's fine. Speaking of money. Yeah, they're not doing so well financially. Maybe don't buy yourself a tiny robot maid if you can't afford it. Alright, so let me see if I can float down there. There we go. Also, we have our first box. Uh, I'm not gonna push that yet. I'm gonna grab these, though. Yeah, that'll come in a handy in, like, the Free Ranger story. Also, these boxes. They have happiness points inside them. Not very many happiness points, but happiness points. That being said, it's kind of dangerous to push boxes off ledges. Because here's the thing, the game doesn't stop you from going over the ledge right after them. So some of the later ones that are like in super high places, we're gonna be want to, we're gonna want to be super careful about pushing them. All right, let's pick up some more garbage. Actually, how much moonlight do I have right now? Eight hundred. Oh, I don't. I'm not that far away from buying the Chibi Blaster. I kind of want to grab the Chibi Blaster as soon as possible, because that does unlock a lot of things for us. Here, before we head back to the foyer with our new cup, I'm gonna go throw a few things away. Oh, let me also grab this garbage. We have some time. Give me that. Also, yeah, why is there paper? Ooh, chibi door. I forgot about this one. We can actually get that right now. There we go. Alright, speaking of moolah, I'm just gonna grab this free moolah and get out of here. Alright, we have enough money now. So I'm just gonna dump, every dump everything in the garbage and then we're gonna head over to the foyer with our new mug. Uh, I kind of don't want to throw away the crumbs. Crumbs are actually used for other things. Oh, also, before we go in there, I should probably go plug myself in and get some more uh, battery. Hi, Jenny. Bye, Jenny. Also, yeah, you know, for a family that's kind of financially hurting, maybe don't drop... Well, I guess it's only 10 moolah. So that's like dropping, what, spare change under your tables on accident? Nope, we're not gonna save yet. But yeah, we have enough moolah to grab the chibi blaster now. I'll grab that after we're uh, done t with today. We'll probably grab it tonight. First things first, though. Let's open up this uh, entire room. Alright, this time we're not gonna let them immediately knock us out with their hail of gunfire. I got this. Sure, they knocked me out once, but... It'll be fine. So yeah, basically we can equip the mug now. And they can't hurt me anymore. They can still hit and it drains a tiny amount of battery, but yeah. Actually, I don't even think it drains any batteries now that I'm looking at it. Pretty sure the battery drain yeah, the battery drain is just for me running. There we go, made it. Yeah, maybe you should ask next time before you open fire like that. But with that, the room is now open for us to explore. They won't be shooting at us anytime we come ac go across the room now.
But we've opened up the way to the basement. And to a little bit of lag, but that's fine. But we're not going to be exploring the basement right now. We're going to come back later, because the basement does take a little while. And we don't have a ton of time left in the day. Plus, I want to grab the Chibi Blaster before I go down there. Also, yeah, he's not very happy that we made it through unharmed. That one's my favorite. I don't think we ever see him awake. There we go. Also, yeah, you missed it. They're kind of at war with the dog. But that looks like fun. I'm gonna go join the army real quick. Actually, wait. I'm gonna go join the army real quick. I'm in uniform. Don't mind me. Oh crap, uh, yes? Well, I think we just joined the army. It's fine. We got happiness points from that. Actually, I think I have enough happiness points to uh, get another battery now. But yeah, the Free Ranger side story is kind of one of the longest in the game. So we're not going to worry about that right now. Fortunately, I don't think there's anything like permanently missable in this game. Also, yeah, I can take this off now. So let's just take a... Oh, whoa. I forgot the map of this area is kind of wonky. So yeah, right now it's actually impossible for us to go upstairs. There's just not enough uh, platform stuff for us to climb up on. Free Ranger's photo over there. That's the front door. We can't go out that way. There's a frog ring in the area too that we're going to want to grab. Oh, also some chibi doors. Let's grab those real quick before the day ends. We have like probably another minute or two. Might as well grab the free moolah. There's still plenty of things we need to buy. Money is going to be pretty important throughout the entire game. Money makes the world go round in this world. Well, not the world, but... Money makes a lot of things function in this game. It's money, electricity, and love. Well, not love. Happiness, I guess. Just like in real life. Don't mind those eyes. They're, uh, they're fine. Actually, can we climb? I don't think we can climb up, especially with our current battery power. I mean, the day's about to end anyway, so you know what? Let's give it a try. Okay, no, we're stuck. We can't go up on this because there's no way for us to uh, climb up there. Although, can I get that right now? Uh, no. Oh, nope. We can't climb up the shoelace, though. There we go. I'll take that. Got ourselves the uh, Free Rangers photo. Let me take a look at that real quick. 
Wait, who took that? I guess they might have miniature cameras to- Oh, ow, ow, oh, no. That fall did more damage than I thought it would. I need battery. Also, one thing about the trauma suit, like every other suit, it takes 30 energy to uh, basically pass out. So you can't actually knock yourself out by pretending to be knocked out. But I think we'll actually end the episode here. The day is literally about to end. So, next time on Let's Play Chibi Robo, we're gonna head down to the basement and start exploring down there a bit. So, till then, I'm just gonna wait here until the day ends. <laughs>